Fantastic. Thank you, subconscious. And subconscious, um, are you able to give his body help with the healing and the releasing? Mm. Absolutely. But it should be noted that when we give healing to somebody, in order for them to release what we are helping them to release, you must go through an experience in some way or another that emotion, that feeling, uh, that ailment. Um, so, unfortunately, it's just part of the process that you will go through these emotions, but you are all coming out lighter plan to heal, to heal, to heal. Everything is going according to plan and one needn't worry. Although it feels very much, uh, very hard and emotional to be going through what you're all going through. It is part of the process. And we are here to learn about these emotions and they are hard and we understand that, but we are with you. So we are healing, we are helping, we are helping Andre to release. We're helping all of you to release. And releasing is just not so straightforward. And it can happen in many different ways as Andre is finding out. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so many ways. <laughs> oh, we're keeping him guessing. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. And that makes so much sense. And in terms of his crystal, can you what can you do to help him with his crystal? His crystal is very, very important to Andre because it was given to him by a dear, dear soul companion, a dear friend, a dear soul mate. Someone that is, was the driving force in him to becoming what he is today. So powerful. Oh, I mean, he misses his soulmate more than he realizes. And he feels her around her, around him. Mm, what can we put into this crystal that will benefit him? Mm, well, let's put in some love. Mm. <laughs> Let's put in some laughter. Mm. We're going to have the crystal be an aid to increasing and developing his intuition. We're also going to infuse his crystal with feelings of comfort. And we are going to, in a very small way, put an essence of the soul of Josephine into the crystal so that when he is with the crystal, he may feel her presence always. Oh, and he has a big smile on his face now knowing about this. Oh, oh, oh that is so nice. Oh, he's going to love it. He's going to love it. He's going to love it. Oh my God. <laughs> he's going to be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're so happy to do this for him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're here. We're here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good to have a heartbeat it feels so good to be here <laughs> we are the elementals mm. we are helping him we are helping him <laughs> oh he loves the feeling he loves us oh we love him we love him <sighs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. 
And what messages would you like to give to him today, please? <laughs> he thinks they're gone. <laughs> but we're not. <laughs> oh, laugh. Just laugh, 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 laugh. Laugh and have fun and sing and be joyful. Oh, yes. We are going to put all of this in his crystal for him. We are going to help him. Oh, we have worked with Josephine. We have worked with Josephine to put this energy into this crystal. Oh, it's going to make him so happy. <laughs> Ooh, we're so happy to do this. We're so happy to do this for him. Oh my God. Oh, we are so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's just take a second to enjoy being in his body. It's so nice and so lovely to have human emotions again. <laughs> because we are, we are physical beings, but we don't have this dense feeling that he has. We don't have this feeling. So it's very strange to feel so <laughs> like we're, we're so heavy and we're so heavy on his bed. <laughs> he doesn't mind us to be here. He doesn't mind it. He doesn't mind it. Oh, we're helping him to release some of his overthinking because he thinks too much. Oh, what is there to think about? There's nothing to think about. All life is fun and happy. It's fun and happy. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 oh, that was fun oh my god that was fun <laughs> okay 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 it's time to go now it's time to go we're taking up all of your time <laughs> we're so bad <laughs> Oh, but it's okay because your viewers need to see this. Your viewers need to see some happiness in the world because there's so much information out there that is going to make them sad. We don't want them to be sad. No, we want them to be happy and joyful. <laughs> the energy will go into your video to the people who listen and the people who watch. Oh, they're going to feel so happy! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes, that's why we're here. We're going to give the people so much joy and happiness. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, we are helping him to release right now. Bear with us. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh, he is having a lot of fun. He's having so much fun. Oh, this is nice. Oh. oh, thank you so much for letting us be here. We're going to go now. Well, thank you so much for helping us um, have that relief of laughter and that lightheartedness. So thank you so much. It is definitely very important for everyone to have that experience and be reminded that we shouldn't be taking things so seriously. So thank you so much. No, don't take things so seriously. But oh, it's so understandable. We understand. This is not easy in your dense, heavy bodies. Oh, God, no. We watch everything that has been going on. And you don't see us there, but we are there. Oh, we are there watching and watching and watching. And we think, no, human, don't do that silly thing. That's stupid. That's so stupid. Don't do that silly thing. But you do it anyway. And we think, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, but you know, it is part of your experience as humans. 
Mm, that's part of your experience. And you know, we also learn from watching you humans. We, we learn from seeing all that you do and all that you do. You are. Hmm. <laughs> oh, sometimes we wish you could be as happy as us. Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. But you will be so happy on the new earth. You will be so happy. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're so happy for you. <laughs> oh, we would like to let you know. Oh, also, mm, we'd like to let you know that we will be there when you are watching the broadcast too. We will be watching it with you. Mm, I'm sure you can tell that the energy has changed. <laughs> so much. Um, are we able to connect with um, his higher self, please? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Thank you for helping him with those releases today. I know that the information he's been processing has been a bit heavy. Yes, the elementals are they they were not meant well everything is meant to be but they were not expected to uh help in this way the elementals in many ways can be very much to themselves the elementals can very much uh pick and choose who they would like to help now they do help us all they help mother earth they help um they help the animals they help the humans but they have sometimes they can be a little mischievous and um they really want to help andre today and they really wanted to help him to release but you know they also wanted to experience his body and they also wanted to to show uh the humans how to laugh how to have fun how to have joy and uh what will be felt by the energy uh from the elementals to the humans will be something that will be very beneficial very beneficial they're trying to get back into his body but we're not going to let this happen we're going to keep them at bay for now, we think that we should get on with our session. Mm. Okay, thank you so much. Um, sub, uh, subconscious now, can you um, advise us how Andre will experience the broadcast, please? Mm. Mm. Yes. Hmm. We can give you a brief description of what he will uh, experience, but there is much uh, there is much to be uh, taken from the mystery of it as well. <sighs> so he will experience the broadcast on Thursday. The broadcast will happen at six a.m. It will happen at everybody's respective 6 a.m.s. There will be a bellow from the skies. Mm, it will wake him up. He will tell himself he will wake up before the shift, but he, there is no need for him to set an alarm for this. Mm, he will be woken up. And if he does not get woken up, he will experience it when he gets up. It will be 
like a lifetime drama. It will run on and on and on and on and there will be nothing missed. Everyone will see what they are meant to see when they see it. Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. He is thinking about how it will look and he thinks that it will cover the whole sky, but this will not be the case. There will be segmented portions uh, dedicated to each neighborhood. Everybody in each neighborhood has something in common by which to learn from, if that makes sense. So your families are your families and they are with you, not by chance. Your neighbors are your neighbors and they're not with you by chance. There is something that Andre must, or there is somewhere that Andre must be um, in order to learn what the people in his area are learning in order to be able to help heal and to be there for them. So uh, Andre will hear in most part what his family, his friends and his neighbors in his area will be feeling or will be hearing. Um, this is in part mostly because Andre's role in this broadcast is not so much to hear the information because he knows much of it already. It is to hear what his surrounding neighbours and friends hear so that he may be able to offer those in his direct vicinity the care and guidance and love that they will require. Mm. And oh... Andre asks for energy, and boy, God, is he getting energy. <laughs> oh, we know this is fairly vague, but this part of the information is important as well. To those light workers, to those people that have volunteered to be positioned in their localities with the people surrounding them and who may be thinking, why am I here? <sighs> You are here for a reason, and you are not the one who needs to hear this information. You are the one who is to be the giver and shower of light when those surrounding you hear this information. So it is very interesting how this all works. Um, essentially, it will be one big broadcast. Mm, it is sort of like a movie screen. Mm, but it's so much more than that. It is hard to explain in human words. It is not something really that the human mind can, help, can, com can, help, can comprehend. Because what the human mind imagines is a cinema screen projected from one source. This is hmm, projected from many sources, if you can even call it a projection. Mm, it is more of oh, an integration with your sky. It is more like an integration. Mm. Mm. Yes. Thank you. And in terms of being able to hear it, will we have internal dialogue or will it be literally sound that is um, coming from the sky, shall we say? Mm. Again, hard to explain. <sighs> so, it will be an internal dialogue heard externally. Mm. There is no internal dialogue that can be heard by sound. It is not going to be sound inside your head. It will be your reality, your perception, perceiving vibrations that we shall be sending to you. That is to do also with the picture that you will see. It will be at a vibrational match to you and what you need to hear and what you can take. Mm. So you will hear externally, but it will be hard to understand how you may hear this externally. It is not coming from speakers. It is a vibration that we are sending to you. It is a vibration that we are sending to you. Mm, you will interpret this based on your level of consciousness. 
Mm. Thank you. I really appreciate understanding that because as you can imagine, we are all excited, but also a little bit reserved to get excited because mm. what doesn't happen. So many people are asking why are we finding out this information now and how come not that, that many people are talking about this? Mm. Yes, it's hard to believe. Mm. There is nothing we can say really to shake that, that doubt. Mm. Because if you still have that doubt, after many sessions with us uh, talking about the broadcast, uh, and still are unable to, to process and believe fully, uh, then it will not happen before the broadcast. And that is okay. We don't need you to believe it. You do not need to believe it. Uh, you will believe it when you see it. Um, and that's okay. Honestly, that's okay. We do not place any pressure on you to believe. And we understand that that is bringing you anxiety. You, as the practitioner who is putting this information out there, that is a very much a, a lot of anxiety for you to handle. And we thank you for remaining patient with us. That is fine. It's more the people questioning how come other practitioners are not getting this information. Mm. You are open to the information. The other practitioners are merely stating what they would like to happen. It has been the dream of the people to have an earth that is functioning by the way of love and inclusivity and happiness and joy without the tyranny and the oppression that you all have been feeling. There was a timeline where the earth would shift into a higher consciousness. Mm, and that was something that was going to happen. And some practitioners, there is this information out there uh, with other practitioners. There is this information out with other channelers, but the information is too big and they're keeping it to themselves. Mm, they're letting ego get in the way. There are some practitioners, however, who uh, do not have the bigger mindset to uh, broaden their, uh, broaden uh, what they are ready to receive. So therefore they keep receiving the same information from the higher self because the higher self is giving them all this information, but they are not able to hear it. I see, thank you. And their ego is not, their, their ego is not, their ego is not allowing them um, to question it. There is ego, it is, it is, it is mm, sort of like, mm, it is sort of like, I have developed this place where I have so many people hanging on my every word and the ego is that I know everything and that I do not need to change or to investigate. Um, you'll notice that many of these practitioners are just regurgitating the same information again and again and again and again with no expansion or with no uh, investigation further into each point. And while there are other practitioners out there who have found this information, mm, you have more purpose in life. Uh, a bigger purpose, a closer purpose to Dolores, a closer purpose to the shift you have, you have given yourself a big task and it is all part of it. Okay, thank you so much. Um, and are we able to ask about what happened, what will life look like after the broadcast? Um, I specifically am curious about this virus that and the people wearing the masks. The muzzles, the muzzles. Mm. Well, mm. we will talk about coronavirus. Um, there will be much about the coronavirus. Um, 
Hmm. Once the people find out, there will be people who would not like to take the chance. The fear is so ingrained in them. So while they will know the information, um, they will not wish to remove their masks. Mm, this will come as well uh, out of consideration to other people. Mm, over time, um, and it won't be a long time, this will start to dissipate, but mm, it's... Mm, mm, yes. People will understand, we will help people to understand exactly the purpose behind the masks and what they represent. And that is that they are there to silence us, to separate us, to stop our emotions being seen by other people. Mm. And it is a symbol of, of silence to the people. And this is being subliminally felt and seen by the people wearing the masks and it is the few that understand differently um, and understand that the muzzle is merely a tool to mock the people um, in plain sight um, the masks do not work uh, the masks have never worked the masks do not work when they are used by doctors they were to an extent, but they are not the saviour that they are being made out to be. Mm. It is hard to give an impression of what life will be like after this broadcast, because there is going to be a massive shift in the consciousness. It will cause some people, it will cause many people, to change their thinking, to reevaluate their day-to-day -day lives. But there will be a period of confusion. Do I have to go into work? How is work going to happen? How are the shops going to run? And it is not something that you will be able to understand until you receive these upgrades. It's just not something. Imagine, mm, imagine a world where people work together. That is essentially what will happen. But there will be a little bit of chaos as people try to to figure out what has just happened. Um, but the upgrade, the the raising of the consciousness will be something very drastic and something very beautiful. Fantastic. Thank you so much for that. It's incredible. Um, and in terms of the med beds, um, will you be able to tell me um, when they will be available for people um, and will there be a cost to it or will it be something else? They are available now. Hmm. There are many, many, many of these beds already in production, already ready to be shipped. Um, it will there will be centers, designated centers with these med beds. I'm seeing gym halls, community centers, stadiums, large rooms, rooms that may fit a thousand beds in each. And I see all of the people who find out about these med beds rushing to use them. They will be of no charge because Free energy is something that will be transmitted to the earth from many points around the earth where towers have been built. Suddenly, you will see a rise in uh, things like free energy in med beds, uh, in power to your homes. Um, and do not be surprised if you receive a bit of money. Hmm, it's all to come. It's all to come. The message in this is do not worry, do not fear. You will be looked after. You will be looked after. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And we had some clarification questions about the clones. Um, do they contain essences of souls? 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They. Mm, this is tricky. They contain a fragment of the original soul. This will give uh, the personality of the person that the clone is imitating. But it will have a, the soul will have less of a, a, a static full body experience. The soul is merely there to drive the clone in order to serve its purpose. Hmm. Now, if the clone is made in light by the creator, uh, that is when that will be the case. If the clone is made by a different agenda with the same intelligence, uh, another soul will enter the body and will use that body to have their own experience, be it temporary or not. Hmm, it's complicated, it's complicated. Okay, thank you. And so um, in terms of the structure of the clone, are they identical to an organic original human being? Physically, mm, physically, yes. But with the difference of the soul, there can be different facial expressions, different muscular tensions, and this can cause the face and body to look slightly different, but it is uh, genetically identical. Right, so they bleed, they, they, you know, it's, it's, mm -hmm. okay, great. They are human, they are human. Yeah. They okay. are just not force like normal humans. Okay. Oh, so they don't have the life force? Mm, not in the same way. Okay, thank you. Um, and in terms of them being able to move into the fifth dimension, what's the chances? Mm, they are not like a normal human where they have to ascend. Um, the soul that enters this body is merely like, hmm, that sounds like a bit of fun. Yes, I will pop in there just for this short time. Um, but I am already uh, only coming for an experience. I am already... I'm taking a detour from my ascension to experience this, just something else quickly to experience. And it's not taken very seriously. It is just like a little holiday. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, and are we able to call in Queen Elizabeth, please? We have some questions for her. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, hello, thank you for coming. Um, can you tell us your life purpose as Queen Elizabeth, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not the monster I'm made it, being made out to be. Mm -hmm. I am not of the reptilians. I was human. I was human. But I was part of a society. Part of a society of darkness. Led by an evil dark force with an agenda to enslave humanity. And of all the monarchies that did not survive around the world, we have and always have proceeded to be the most powerful and the most influential. Mm. I was killed for my crimes against humanity. Mm. Yes. But I was not... I was forced into my marriage. Mm, yes, he is a reptile. He is a reptilian. Mm. <sighs> I am sorry for what I have done. 
Mm. But it was something that was forced upon me. It was something that I could not get out of. And over time, over time, I was desensitized to it. I learned how to get along. I learned how to put all of that guilt and shame aside. Because mm, I was able to wear amazing dresses. I was able to have the love of the people. I was able to be secure and have the feelings of being the princess. Mm, and then when the time came, when the time came to be queen, well, I could not turn that opportunity down. But I was quiet in what with what I knew about what goes on behind closed doors. And there is so much more to the palace then you know, mm, this will all be shown to you. And I have seen my life. Mm, I have seen my life. Mm, and I am disappointed. I'm disappointed that I allowed myself mm, to be taken, to be taken hostage like that. But it was all I knew. It was all I knew. Many of you believe, many of you out there believe that I am a bad soul, that I am, I am a bad person. And yes, while I did bad things, oh, my heart was good. My heart was good. And I did some good. I did some good. I did some good. Mm. But I am happy to be free of the shackles of the societies and of the ritualistic sacrificing of children. Mm, yes, mm. it is a dark, dark world. It's a dark world. Yes. Mm. I am on the side of the humans. I am on the side of love. I have seen everything. I am on the side of healing. And yes, I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for your blessings. I ask that you pray for me and that you pray for all who have been enslaved in the system, both directly and indirectly. Mm, there's so much more. It's often not the fault of the person. It's often the fault of the system. And that is something that may help you all move on without judgment in your heart. Without judgment in your heart because there is no judgment on the other side. There is no judgment when you pass over. No, there's merely an opportunity for you to look at all you have done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is a beautiful experience. Mm. My experience has been very difficult. It has been very difficult. Oh, it was not easy to look back on all that I have done and all that I kept silent. Mm. No. But rest assured, this is, this is the end. Mm, this is the end. Oh, and it's going to be so wonderful for you all. And I'm so happy that after all you have been through, that after all you have gone through, seen and endured, mm, that you will finally seek, that you will finally see your freedom. Yes, oh, freedom. And I am sorry, I am sorry, I hope, I hope in your hearts you can forgive me as you can forgive the reptilians. Forgiveness is something that takes place from within you is something that will help you think of the crimes against humanity, the things that have held you down, the things that have oppressed you and given you your experience. It will help you to think of these things and not be mad. It will help you to find freedom within yourself. Mm, yes, 
That is true freedom. That is true freedom. Thank you so much, everybody, for allowing me to come here today to talk to you. <laughs> I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your forgiveness. And I love you all as I did when I was your ruler. I did. Mm. Thank you so much. I can appreciate. Um, I can appreciate you for for all that you had to endure. We can see you as the victim as well. Um, so thank you. Do you have any intentions of um, reincarnating on the new earth? No. No. It is time for you to enjoy your earth. It is time. It is time for, mm, for you to experience life as the comrades of light, the army of beauty and joy that you are. I will do my thing. I will move on to where I'm supposed to go. Mm. But right now, I am with the source. I am with the source and I am being helped to heal. I am working out how I would like to repay my debt, how I would like to give back to the people, but it will not be from the new earth. No, no, it's your turn now. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the information you've provided for us today. I'm so happy. A big weight has been lifted off my shoulders. It really has, and I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Mm. I send you love, love and forgiveness. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm. Okay, thank you. And can we call back the subconscious, please? Yes. Mm. I hope you can all see the lesson in this. The lesson in forgiveness. It is not black and white always. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank you so much for allowing us to be reminded of that bigger message. So thank you so much. Um, and are we able to um, learn more about um, Andre and his role moving to the new earth? How will he experience that shift? It will be a beautiful experience. It will be, it will be a similar experience to what he experienced when he released his ego during a ceremony where he received the toad medicine. That is along the lines of what it sort of feels like on a very small level. The light that he saw was source, yes. And this is something that we can liken to the experience, but it's hard to explain exactly what the experience will be like. We have told you in, in, in words what will happen Mm. most of it you will be asleep for. You will not really see everything that's going on. But there will be a feeling in his bed as he is sleeping. We think he will be sleeping because this will make the transition easier and there will be less resistance. He will be taken from his body through a source of light. This will take him onto a spaceship. He will be aware of what's happening. But when he wakes up on the new earth, he will not remember that he was aware. There will be moments of grogginess on the ships where he may be looking around and thinking, where am I? What is happening? I'm a little scared right now. 
but all of a sudden he will be on the new earth and he will be looking around thinking, I've woken up somewhere else. Could this be? Could this be the new earth? And it will be very surreal. It will be very surreal. It will be like in a dream. Where am I? I pinch myself. Mm. But the consciousness, of course, is different in the fifth dimension. There will be much more acceptance of the, the energy, the feelings that you're feeling. The ability to hold and accept new information will be heightened. So it is not like you will be taken from this earth and placed on a new earth in a new dimension with your current sensibilities and reactions. So rest assured that everything has been put into place in order for you to make a smooth and beautiful transition into your new life. This is all you need to know. This is all you need to know because with words, you cannot describe the beauty and the magnitude of what you will experience. Mm. Mm. But we are sending him energy, just a fragment of what he will feel. He is feeling vibration. Mm. He is feeling a pull pull, a tension between his ears, a tension at the back of his neck, a pull, a, uh, a pressure. And all of a sudden there will be a light and the pressure will release and he will feel the separation of his emotions and his body and he will be converted into light he will merge with the light of the spaceships. <clears throat> and they will work on him. It is a beautiful and smooth transition. For some who try to resist, who think they may be dying, it will be slightly more difficult. But there is a point as you leave your body where there is no more ability to resist and you have a different consciousness and you just flow. Thank you so much. And can you give him a sense of his role on the new earth, please? Mm, teacher, he will be a teacher. He will, he will enter the new earth with some information already. He will adjust well to the surroundings. As I said, he will have more consciousness. Everybody will enter the new earth with a slightly different level of consciousness because we all want to experience something a little bit different on the new earth, but it will be at a level where we can all live in perfect harmony and nurture and guide and teach each other with each level of consciousness. It is all within the fifth dimension, but there will just be similar to how you have different talents on this earth, there will be different sort of levels of thought capabilities, if that makes sense. Yes, it really does. Thank you so much. And um, is there anything else you'd like him to know about the new earth and the shift for him? We would like to take him back to the feeling he felt when the uh, elementals entered his body. Pure joy, happiness, freedom, <laughs> laughter. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. It is. That is only a human experience. And what you will experience, all of you, is that times one billion. It will just be. Inexpl it's inexplainable, inexplainable. Thank you. Is a human experiencing his experience with the elemental, elementals? Uh, partly I was sort of thinking, oh, this seems a bit silly. And I was judging with my adult mind. And then the longer it went, the more 
I started getting the giggles too and started feeling my true inner joy. And I ref reflected back. I haven't felt that way since I was a child. And it was a gift to listen to that. So thank you to the elementals and to the higher self to allow us to have that. Yes, yes, yes. It sounded weird. It sounded strange, but there was a purpose to it. Um, it was in many ways to allow Andre to loosen up, um, to trust the feeling of, uh, of being uh, genuine in this work, that there was no way he could have made that up. We were just giving this little gift to him as well to help him to trust the information and to trust the process. And it has worked. He has really enjoyed this session. And um, the energy will transmit through to you, through to the listeners. Um, it will also cause some listeners to release some judgment um, as well. Those who will think uh, this sounds silly, this sounds crazy, um, they will be releasing judgment as well. So it is bringing up some shadow work on them also. It has a purpose for everybody. And sometimes you just got to have fun. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, and subconscious, are we able to know what happened last time we did a session um, with the abrupt ending? Mm, yes. Uh, uh, it was twofold. Uh, Andre was starting to wake up and information would have become diluted with his conscious mind. Um, and also we feel uh, information that would have been asked is just not ready to be told just yet. So we woke him up and he uh, was continuing to answer questions. So he asked to be put back into relaxation with his conscious mind and he was starting to worry. Um, and then we gave him another jolt and he was awake and certain that uh, that was the case. Um, thank you. And did he share any information or say any information that came from his conscious mind? Mm. Yes. When you started talking about the children of the Obamas, that was Andre's conscious mind giving the answer. And that's okay. Thank you. And so... He felt the change. He felt the shift. And that is why he asked to have that bit taken out. He yeah. works, from, works from his heart. He does not change answers. You do not need to worry about this. It was just in this little moment, a little wobble, and that's okay. That's okay. Absolutely. I fully understand that. Thank you. And thank you for giving us the clarification. Um, and is it time to ask those questions about that family, or is it not the appropriate time? It will all be documented in the broadcast. We want you to have some surprise in the broadcast because you also have to release. You also have to have your emotions. You also want to experience it like the rest of the humans. They, they all, you all want surprise a little bit as well. You don't want all of it given away. Otherwise, what's the point in watching a series only to know the outcome? <laughs> uh, that's true. Okay. Thank you very much. Is there any other information that you want to share with us today before we finish? No. The message for this evening, the general theme of this evening was trust, love, joy, happiness, releasing of judgment, understanding things from the higher perspective, maybe looking a bit deeper into why people are the way they are, why people uh, do the things they do. There is always a bigger purpose. There was always something that is leading them on to uh, the wrong path, in inverted commas. Um, it's never as simple as it seems. And this is why we always ask you never to judge. This is why in all of the religious texts, it says not to judge thy neighbor. Um, of course, you have been placed into a system which makes you uh, pit yourself against another person. This is done with advertisements, making you feel like you're not good enough and only will be good enough once you buy a certain thing, once you be a certain way, once you drive a certain car. So we ask you to release all of this 
And with the news that is coming, it will be easier to do this. It will be easier to release. And those who have all the material things, who live and define themselves by these material things, will suddenly feel very silly. And that is all part of it. And that is love. We are to guide them and help them and love them. And that is the message tonight. It is all, all about love. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that.